Hello everybody, my name is Cinnamon Toast Kid and it's time for another uh, moto vlog. Today we're going to be taking out the Honda CBR 500, my starter bike, the one that I've dropped, the one that I broke the handle off right here, scratched it up, it's great, best starter bike ever. Uh, I don't have my gloves, didn't get my gloves, my sister just gave me some uh, some cool sweatbands to wear. I'm going to go play frisbee and I was like, well why not do a moto vlog and I just popped my pants, my button on my pants just came open too fat. I'm like, why not make a little moto vlog? People have been asking about them so hopefully those people will actually watch the video and that'll be fantastic it'll be great oh yeah all right all right oh my goodness cinnamon toast kid going to the highway are you serious did he finally take his take his baby pants off no not really the highway's still the scariest crap freaking people people around here are terrible goddamn drivers i swear to god they are they're really bad and whenever they see a motorcycle they just want to show out so you know Everyone will be speeding and passing me. I'll be going to speed limit, 70 miles per hour. But then they'll be just zipping past me. On top of that, like whenever a, a truck loses the outside of the tire, I don't know what that's called. Around here, it usually sits in the middle of the road, like this big, huge piece of rubber. It'll just sit there for a couple of days. I get nervous <laughs> that I'm just gonna run and find a piece that someone else is gonna straddle. So I'll stay over here on the side <laughs> so I'm behind their tires and I can watch them. But I also need some gas. They said, yeah, I like this person going to slow in front of me. Like, I still like to take it slow. Like, I see people riding around still these days. Woo, that wind. God dang. That blew me off the bike. I'm still scared of the wind. Shut up. Hey, anyway, I see old dudes that are still, like, uh, they just they just have their cutoffs and, like, a, a little a bucket helmet, and they're just riding out here on the highway, and I'm like, good God. The tattoos on my arm cost more than my, bus or my bike does. I almost call it a bicycle. So, uh... I dress to impress. I got all the gear on. It's freaking windy as asshole. God! Oh, yeah, see this. Look at these guys right here. Look at these guys right here. Look, uh, old man in a in a button-up shirt. Two men in, in their t-shirt. They, they just got out of church, you know. But I guess they've been riding forever, and they probably haven't haven't read a wreck yet. I don't know. There was a guy at my house recently. It was, like, helping help me out with my internet, and he was telling me about his freaking uh, his uh, bike accident he had. And he's, like, it's got road rash and everything on his legs. And he was like, wear your gear. I don't care what anybody says, just wear it. You know, you know I was telling him, I was like, yeah, hey, yeah, I started and I got me a, I got me a Japanese bike to, to start out with and something I can wreck. He's like, oh, yeah, that sounds good. He's, he's like an old Harley dude. It's kind of weird for an old Harley dude to be working on my internet, but he did it. We need some gas, baby. Oh, let's get some gas right goddamn here. Oh, mother effing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, give me that. Give me that sweet. The sweet, delicious nectar. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, Burke. Hey, girl. How you doing? Got them heels on? I wonder if their grandchildren are watching this video. Grandma's hot. And we're full. Five dollars. Can't beat that. We could ride around this for the rest of our lives. And we did it. And back to the highway. Ha ha! So windy, baby. Oh uh, yeah, oh that bounce, uh, 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 damn, I can ride on a horse, uh. God bless these American roads. So they may be asking, Ken, where have the moto vlogs been? Why haven't you done one in almost, I don't know, when was the last one we did? Like six months ago, good God, wind. Come on, I'm still a noob, you're scaring me. I don't want to get blown off the road. So you guys may remember, I used to do these moto vlogs where I go ride around my bike and it was a lot of fun, you know, we'd see some things, we'd uh, get hit by rocks and uh, people would rev their engines and try to race us and stuff like that. Yeah, good times. So where did those go? Well, first off, it got cold. It got, it got really chilly, you know. It was winter time and I'm not, and I'm not riding around in the cold. F that, look at that huge hole in the road, uh, scary. Oh, there's some really big holes up here somewhere. There they are, oh, there's one. Oh, there's more on this next bridge. I don't know if these holes will actually do anything if I hit them, but I, I dodge them. They're freaking scary. Look at that huge hole, do you even see these things? Just, I think they're just holes straight up in the bridge, like straight down. But anyway, so yeah, where'd they go? Uh, honestly, I just kind of, I, I kind of ran things to talk about. Like there wasn't much going on for me at the time, and I was just riding around. I'm like, well, what, what do I want to talk about today? And I was like, well, I guess I could talk about YouTube, you know, because everybody likes to talk about that. Speaking of YouTube, right now it's pretty rough on the YouTube world for a lot of people. This video will probably make no money. It's almost not worth even putting up. But you know what? It's okay because it's not all about the money, right? <laughs> That's what we tell everybody. But you know, there's a reason why we make these videos. No, I'm still making videos, it's fine. Eventually, YouTube will pull itself out and you, and you don't want to mess up your channel and messing up your algorithms you're set in if you uh, don't upload videos, right? So, oh boy, the open road, nobody here. Oh, I could pop a wheelie or something, but no, I won't because, there, oh, there it comes people. Just kidding, I don't know how to pop a wheelie. I have not 
tried to master the arts of popping a wheelie yet. Not at all. That's a nice car though. Oh yeah. That, that lady had her sugar daddy with her. Yeah. What do you call the girls that have sugar daddies? What are they called? Leave the answer down in the comments. I want to know. I want to know what they're called. Hoes, I guess. Girls with daddy issues. You know, gold diggers. Probably gold diggers. That's probably a good one. So I've, I've ridden the bike a couple of times this season so far. And uh, oh, oh, here comes the most exciting part. I love, I love waving to other other bikers. I don't know why. It's great. It's fantastic. Lots of fun. Because I'm just the guy riding around the sport bike. But all, all, you know, these old dudes are pretty cool. These old cats are pretty cool. And I call them old dudes. I'm probably just as old. I got my brights on. I just realized that. This is probably blonde. Well, I would say I'm blonde everyone, but I don't think the brights are actually that bright. I mean, he probably flipped me the bird. He's like, God dang, dirt noob, what are you doing? I'm sorry. I don't even know what I'm saying. I just got so excited. I like, I like waving to the, the other bikers. It's fun. So this road that we're on right here is called the uh, the Natchez Trace. Yeah, it, go, it goes it goes up to like to Nashville and I, I don't know where it goes. It goes a really long way, but it's it's just like this the whole way. It's just peaceful, freaking green just green trees animals some railroad tracks on the side there's trails all up in here like usually right here we're fixing to go we may see somebody oh yeah there is somebody down there uh they got their little their little ooh, god dang wind please their little gator down there they're riding around yeah you'll see a bunch of people like right running like track teams the the local school the track team will come out here for jogs it's just a nice it's a nice area nice just a nice road really I mean, the speed limit's only 50, so, you know, you gotta got go slow. And they also have their own, like, their own police, the police this thing, like, they're, they're all over the place out here, usually. I'm surprised I haven't seen one yet. But they're usually pretty cool, too, as long as you're not, like, you know, grossly going over the speed limit there. They're pretty chillax. Yeah, look at them tires. Yeah, I stick them out the side. You know, okay, that's, that's a trend that's happening lately. Like, I got my truck. My truck's all jacked up and huge. But now it's becoming a thing to get the tires that like stick like a good foot out from your truck. Like they just stick, like my, my, my tires stick out like that much, you know, on the sides. But now they're like freaking just huge, sticking way the heck out. And it looks, it looks dumb to me. Like, <laughs> it looks like a, it's like, like a pair of roller skates going down the road. Like the old school roller skates, maybe like an alien spaceship. Like if someone just pushed the top of them, the, the tires would pop out the sides. But whatever, I guess, you know, to each his own. You know what they say about people with big trucks. I just get, there's a, there's a bug that just splattered on my <laughs> on my windshield here on my face, and it's right in front of my eyeballs. It was it, oh, it was a it was a glow bug. It just his butt wasn't it wasn't glowing yet though, but it's a it's a firefly. It just smashed right in front of my, my line of sight. Heck yeah! Woo! Wind push me all around. I like it. I like not driving. I like you take the wheel, wind. Like I'm speeding right now, and there's people catching up to me. I mean, I'm not speeding, officer. I was not speeding. Do not use this as evidence. So what else? new what else is going on me and mary are having a baby that's new that's real new we're gonna have a baby really soon like really soon like in a few weeks there's gonna be a, a little baby toast a little baby bear hanging around the house it's a girl if you don't know already and her name starts with l but we're not telling anybody what the name is because mary doesn't want people to judge the name before uh the baby's actually born because you know people be like oh i knew someone with that name in high school they were they they sucked I hated them, and then you're like, oh great, well now you're gonna, you, you hate my baby's name? No, if you have the baby, and then you tell them the name, then it's a baby, they just have to love the baby, you know? Baby L. People are always asking what her name is. It's like, Sir Snell. Man, that's all you get. Maybe we'll just call her Baby L whenever she's born. Oh yeah, give it to me! Slowly getting up there. I'm like in fifth gear, and I'm only going 50 miles an hour. But this bike doesn't have a whole lot of power, but that's kind of the reason I got it also. So I can't like, accidentally rev it and just go up from under myself and die, you know? Oh, they're putting a the stoplight here. Good. Because this is my turn. Oh, man. Oh, hey, ladies. You guys you guys taking a, a sexy walk? Oh, hey, car. Just pull out from me. It's cool. Oh, yeah. Hell, gun it. You're fast. Got that GT, man. You spent that that extra that extra 10 grand on that big bigger motor so you can go, I don't know, faster in a 25 mile per hour zone. Oh, uh, that's okay. I was like that at one point, too. It's like I want the biggest and fastest car I can get so I can go the speed limit or maybe slightly over and not get in trouble. But I can rev my engine at stoplights and other rednecks. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. The Autism 5K. That's where they park. Is that where they park the autistic people? No, that's me. I shouldn't make that joke. 
Uh, Mary told me that she thinks I'm slightly autistic the other day. Because her dad is autistic. But he's also like functionally autistic. He's like a surgeon. Like a, like a breast cancer surgeon. Like he's really freaking good at his job because of his autism. But uh, Mary was talking about my social skills. She's like, are, are you autistic? I mean, she would, I mean, she has first-hand experience with an autistic man, so I think she may know. Or maybe she just calls everybody autistic. I don't know. Ooh, it's mad. You got to stand up on your bike. Boop, boop. Speed bumps. Don't even matter. Oh, look. They're coach he's coaching his kids out there. There we go. There's some good dads out there teaching their kids how to actually play instead of like the other coaches in this area that just don't do crap. <laughs> They're like, oh, hey, you're out here. All right. Well, I'm getting paid, so, uh, yeah, I'm not going to teach you how to play. Are that the frisbee people up there? Oh, the frisbee people are up there. Oh, well, they've taken over our regular field. Over there, behind the other side. So, yeah, I'm going here. <laughs> I honked my horn back, accident. That was embarrassing. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, we're playing frisbee here. Shut up. And uh, it's going to be a good time. We get out here and run. You, if you don't see me on the internet, this is usually where I'm hanging out. That or just sitting at the house not doing anything which is also really good it's also one of my favorite things Looks like he's having a lot of fun it's like uh you can get some close-up shots of that and make it like war propaganda he's just playing in the, the leftovers of his of his hometown where his mother and father burned alive there's a um, bunch of nerds up here we'll the little disc around and run slow it's 80 degrees so i will catch you guys when i come back when i'm done playing Enjoy the break, because it's going to be like a split second long. Alright, played. Got time to go back. Back to the hizzy. Tired. It was a good day. Oof, my legs. Oh, god dang. That was a nice day out at the park, and I am... Well, I'm god dang exhausted right now. Look at those little kids playing that little bitty, that little bitty field. Oh, yeah. <laughs> little kids. I'm going to have a kid soon. That's scary. Oh, god. It'll be okay though. I think I think I'll be a good dad. I think I'll be a good dad. You know what better way to resurrect a YouTube channel, a family-friendly YouTube channel that is, other than babies? Simple as pie. You just get that baby. You put it on the camera forever, and then everyone's like, "Oh my God, I love your videos!" Right? Is that how it works? I don't know. I kind of imagine there's got to be an age that the kid gets to that you stop putting it on uh, in YouTube videos maybe probably ask it you know if it wants to be on YouTube that could get kind of weird maybe like I, I don't know if I want like a super social media baby like maybe when they're in their you know they're teenagers sure but I'm before that I think the key to making a good family like vlog is to make it more about the parents with the kids you know not just the kids I mean there's different different cases but like say a duck a goose whatever uh like, like parents do cosplay and they do cosplay with their kids you know as long as the parents doing cosplay with their kids not them just making their kid out to be like some kind of superstar because then it just gets weird it just gets weird so you see that super wide turn I took that wasn't on purpose <laughs> I was too busy talking see I pay attention to what I'm doing I'm gonna die oh but that wind oh that wind oh yes give me that, that beautiful wind after running it's 80 degrees outside today, running around in the heat, and then hopping on this bike and all this, this jacket and stuff. It's, just, it's, it's hot, but that wind feels great on my sweat glands, yeah. So here is the, the sign that says Tupelo, Tupelo, Mississippi. It turns out that uh, Tupelo is more concerned with putting signs around, letting you know that you're in Tupelo and what part of Tupelo you're in, and actually like, you know, I don't know, putting a sidewalk so people can walk around, you know, instead of having to drive everywhere. No sidewalk over here. There is a little bit of a sidewalk over there, but I think it actually ends up here past the, uh, the, the taco place, Mexican restaurant, yeah. No sidewalk, but God dang, they will put some signs to let you know where you are. Like, historic downtown Tupelo is where we're heading, and I'm sure there'll be a sign we'll see on the way up here. Oh, hey, old man, what's up? It's a nice bike you got there. And that dude, scary. Scary, he's at the gym. Got his hog and his shaved head. Nope, better help me get that stoplight. You're not gonna make it. It's one thing I hate about living in Redneckville. It's like every every dude with a truck wants to like rev his engine at you. And you know he doesn't have anything. He's just being loud and obnoxious and you're just like, you know, whatever. I'm not, what, 
What do you, what do you want from me? I do not care how loud your 95 Chevy sounds. <laughs> your piece of crap had me down. Yeah, good job. A great thing about living around here is that you get to make fun of a lot of people. Like, no one around here actually knows how to drive. Like, none of these people, like, they know how to stay in their lane and go straight and, you know, and that's about it. But you get any of these people in, like, a, like a traffic situation where, like, during Christmas around the, uh, the shopping center areas, like, it'll get backed up and people will be blocking off the intersection. Oh, my God. Look at this old dude. He's all over the place. He's all over the place. Good God, old man. What are you looking at? You looking at me? He's probably drunk at work. He drives a taxi in a town where I don't think anyone actually uses taxis. Uh, maybe some old ladies. Is that another taxi? Are there two taxis over here? When do we get taxis? This town's growing up. Can't believe it. we got two whole taxis over here. And I just saw them at the same place. It's like spotting a unicorn. Magic. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I thought it was that ball headed dude from the, uh, from the gym that I saw earlier. Just not just a cool old guy. I bet he likes to drink beer. So my brother got married recently, right? My brother got married and uh, we went to a, a, uh, a biker bar. Get him a drink before he got married, right? Surprisingly enough, every dude in that biker bar did not recommend getting married. They were all divorced. I couldn't believe it. I mean, and they were all drunk before 12 p.m. Or 12, you know, it was, it was, it was, it was mind blowing. I could not believe that all those all those heavily bearded men that were drunk at, you know, one o'clock in the in the afternoon, did not have wives. It was, it was, it was, it was eye-opening. So we had to get we had to get them out of there because it was kind of depressing. Like everyone's like, oh, we're just trying that paper. Oh, go kiss your life goodbye. And we're like, God, historic downtown. We made it. I'm glad they put that sign there. Oh, there's actually, oh, good. There's actually sidewalks in this part of town though. So you know, I can't talk too much trash about it. We actually have sidewalks here. You know, down this little strip where nobody ever goes. And if you go to church, you know, we got church or that post office right there. Yeah, it's great. But I mean, other than that, you got banks. You wanna go to banks? You can do it. You can do it in this area. So let's talk about YouTube and how it's just it's just not doing so hot anymore. You know, everyone's like, I wanna be a YouTuber, but now all the YouTubers are like, we, you don't you don't you don't make any money anymore. It's it's a little depressing. It's 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 sad, you know. We got all these creators that are getting punished because, I don't know, there's some racist people in the world. Unfortunate. Uh-oh, I'm one of those people that are in the middle of the road. No! No, I'm one of those guys. That's some nice tires over there. Look at the police. It's always a good video if you get pulled over, right? Ah, uh, the area where everyone was playing Pokemon Go. It was like the only, the only Poke stop around was like right here. Actually, there's like three in a row right through this area. So everyone would come out here late at night they'd be they'd be lawn chairs everywhere out there around elvis's statue and we'd just be playing pokemon go it was beautiful i've never seen so many overweight rednecks outside walking in my life everybody knows and what happens pokemon go started to suck actually it sucked the entire time it was never a good app or a good game but everyone hoped everyone had had dreams they're like please please be good please you know i, I would like to log in and play and then Whoever made that game was like, nah, we're just gonna keep releasing it in new places and then no one can actually play. Sorry. Yeah, screw those guys. I don't remember who made it. Hope they all died. <laughs> that is a fat ass dude. <laughs> that is a fat dude. <laughs> With some overalls. Oh, Jesus Christ. Get me out of this place. <laughs> with overalls there we go we made the video thanks fat guy with overalls he looked like someone that rides a bike to impress his cousins you know he's got a hot cousin i tell you what but he may actually be a pretty cool guy i'm just judging him by his looks he looks like he is insane the old lady across straight across from us she's got a big old perm i think real hot perm a little classy grandma looking sexy fine girl looking sexy fine make me some of them cookies baby Where? I guess that will conclude this old moto vlog. I hope you guys at home have enjoyed this. I know I have. I still got kind of the same problem where I'm like, I don't know what to talk about when I'm riding around because there's not really a whole lot to see. Every now and then we get lucky and see like a a very large man in his overalls. Ooh, got blown over almost. <laughs> I tell I tell you, like the wind. I'm, I'm so I'm so overly sensitive to the wind still. I'm still a fairly new rider, even though I've had the bike for a year. I mean, I didn't. 
<laughs> I didn't ride any after the summer. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. And until then, stay toasty, my friends. We'll do this. Yeah, yeah. Bye.